My name's Holly Bell, I was a finalist on the Great British Bake Off and I write a blog called Recipes from a Normal Mum. For this Keep Calm and Bake series today, I am going to make a lemon and blueberry tray bake that's got almonds in it as well. Don't forget that the method and ingredients are in the description box so you don't need to write anything down. So I'm going to start off with the dry ingredients because if you're using a stand mixer, it's important to put the dry ingredients in first and the wet ingredients on top because then all your mixture won't fly about everywhere. So I'll start off with the flour and then I've got some caster sugar, I've got some baking powder. I've got some ground almonds. Now, if you are allergic to nuts or you don't like ground almonds, you can replace this with more flour. And then um, I'm going to put in a little bit of milk. Make sure that if you're using butter or margarine, it's at room temperature. And then I'm going to add in my eggs. Again, room temperature is important for eggs when you're making a cake. Last but not least, the lemon zest. So I've got a zester here. Do try to only get the yellow bit of the lemon. If you go any further and get the white bit, the pith, it can be quite bitter. Hold on to the lemon because we're going to use the juice of it to make some icing once the cake is baked. And then put the head of the mixer down and we're going to stop mixing now. Start off slowly because you don't want everything to fly out everywhere. And once you can see that all the dry ingredients have combined a bit, then you can turn it up. So we're almost there. To get a cake mixture to the point where it's really light and fluffy, in a stand mixer, you're looking at about four minutes. Then all there is to do is just scrape all the mixture out and then just use a spoon to get all those last bits off. And then just roughly level it. I've got the blueberries here. Now, I quite like to put them, scatter them over the top. Get it reasonably even because obviously nobody wants um, a bit of cake with less blueberries than someone else. That's it. That's going to go into the oven now between 20 and 35 minutes. It's ready when a toothpick or a skewer comes out of the centre of the cake clean. So to top off this cake, I've got a really easy icing to make. All it uses is fresh lemon juice. Get as much juice out as you can. So I've got my icing sugar here. I'm just gonna add a little bit. You often need less liquid than you think when it comes to this kind of icing. So add a little bit at a time. So I'm going to squeeze the other half of the lemon because I want the icing to be a bit thinner than that. Give it a good stir with a spoon. What you're trying to do is beat out any of those little bits of icing sugar that have clumped together in the packet. So there you go. That to me is a perfect consistency because I can dribble that over the cake, but it's not thin enough that you won't see it because I want it to be nice and white so that you can see it over the cake. So the tray bake is out of the oven, it's completely cooled which is obviously really important when you're going to put icing on the top and then it's really up to you how you want to drizzle your cake with it. There you go, that looks quite nice. You might have a bit of icing left over which you can save, you can put this in the fridge and use it on another cake or you could just add some more. So don't forget, if you have made this or you've made a different version of it, then please, please upload photos of it, put something in the comments, tell me all about it. And if you like the recipe and the video, give it a thumbs up as well. So before it sets, I'm going to add some more blueberries to the top. I just scatter these over. For more recipes like this, you can subscribe to this channel and also take a look at my blog, Recipes from a Normal Mum. The tray bake is now finished. I'm going to leave it to set. And if you want more recipes like this, don't forget to come back next time. There'll be plenty more bakes.